Hi Planet Friends, just jumping on quickly because as you've probably noticed, all my videos have gone up at once. Uh, there have been some serious issues with uh, me buying stuff that I've wanted to share and holding off doing videos so that I can show you stuff. But, um, you know, leaving that to one side. Um, I also, I didn't plan last week because by the time I got round to it, I'd got up, it had gone up late and then all kinds of stuff happened which you'll probably see when I get into there. So I wanted to show you some things that I've picked up. So these arrived for me um, from Amazon. They are the Avery Ultra tabs. They don't do them over on this side of the pond but I have seen these promoted and they have they look really really good. So you can write on both sides they're multi-use and they're repositionable. I doubt I will reposition them if I break these out and use them because, you know, why bother? Um, but yeah, so I've got those. I look forward to using those. They will probably go in my school planner. Um, happened across these fun things in Matalan. So let me just, if I move my journal out of the way, because you don't need to see that. So we've got, now these are just fairly inexpensive glossy stickers from Matalan with all the Harry Potter funness on it. And I got it because July was meant to be kind of a Harry Potter theme this month. So I just needed a bit of extra decoration. And I have already slightly ripped the Hufflepuff sheet. But hey, it's, you know, the Hufflepuff sheet is the sheet I'm going to break into first because that's my house. So as I say, they are just a bit of fun, just a bit of fun stuff. I think they were like 150 from Matalan. So nice fun. I happened across these at um, a place called Burwash Manor in Cambridge, which is a little shopping... I won't call it a shopping village because that's not true. They're like basically a load of barns and... They have different shops in and there's a really really nice sewing shop which i love but i very rarely buy stuff but i happened across these there are four sheets of sticker tabs in there which you can see on the back and you know i just thought they were quite nice they're not very deep but i'm sure they will work just fine and because they're colorful and bright and fun happy with those I also got this, which is a corner cutter. This, I believe, is the large one. So it gives you a 10 millimeter um, corner. And I swear I have been doing everything. I have been clipping everything. Um, I'll give you an example. So, yeah, a picture of Hubby from back in the day. I just thought, hey, just, you know, do all the corners. So I've just been. And that one's, oh, uh oh, well, because that one's not cut straight, but you know, I've got Ashley's business card here. I'm sure she won't mind, and you just kind of, eh. oh. so all the things have now lovely curved edges because I like my curves. <laughs> Such a loser. <laughs> I have had my Planners in Crime PR package and Ashley also um, put an order that I'd put in with it. So into, and also I wanted to also put on, this is the last week in my perfectly penned, um, doing my weeklies. So it's all a bit sad. So that is my, um, it's right on the back of that, what month that is, July, and I have, there it is. So I keep my, I've decided to keep, because this came with something and I noticed that it had opened. So all my raffle tickets are going to go in there so then they don't get lost. So I got a Chinese style, I think, maybe, sticker chip. My favourite quote of all time, because it is so true. My sampler, let's pop that off halfway through. 
Don't tell hubby. I've got a mess. I seriously need to start using these because I have got so many samplers, it's not even funny. I got the holographic decal. Still plays with stickers. Oh, nice rainbow action there. All the colours of the bins, which is L01. Sticker Happy Mouse C01. Mini Date Night, which is the mini, um, mini Oreos MR22. Hedgehogs, because mine are nearly gone, C08. This was, I'll tell you guys about that in a second. MR2, which is Oreo with all the money. I only get mini Oreos because my passion planner is going to require mini Oreos rather than the large one. YouTube Oreo, inst two Instagram Oreos. I thought I got two of those. Perhaps I only got the one. Two Instagram Oreos and Peking Penelope. Because why not? And right, so this is the funny one. So CO5, it's the sheet of these. But for some reason it's um mislabeled on etsy and the order was placed through etsy but actually has now corrected that so i got these and i really like these anyway because you know all the baby koala action and koalas are cute especially this one so they are going to be filed away when i have found my sticker stash a bit concerned don't know where it's gone and that's a small ton of stickers to be missing ah. anyway right so I'm going to pause there and on with the planning. Okay, I'm back with my sticker stash. So this is, so here's, here they are, here they are. So this is what they will look like. And I have a bunch of them because I really like them. I do need to sort some out though because I've got far too many and Roxy and Penelope are starting to need to go in their own folders. Anyway, moving swiftly on. So, um, looking at this week, or this coming week, that is now not a thing. Panafest is on the 27th, but I'm not attending because it's too far away. In fact, let's, let's just crack out one of these already. Um, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Turbulence. Uh, let me think. Well, these are all about Gryffindors, so, because it's all Harry and Hermione and everybody. So I might just do, yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna do that. Just to, especially as seventh month. See, it all makes sense in my head. And that's all I'm gonna do. Okay. Nice and fun. So let's flip to Centre Park was fun. Right, that was this week. I haven't gone... Right, so as you can see, the idea was that I was going to work, but things have had to be cancelled because there was a thing. And the thing has made me sad. Because it was a thing that shouldn't really have happened, but it did. And now I have to make the best of it. So we'll just leave it at that. Um, might use this tape. I quite like this one and it's dark. Although there is the line for the repeat there. So let's just do it a bit. There we go. Now, I know what you're thinking. Kelly has written on her journal and she has not covered it up, but I have a plan. Baldrick, I have a plan. Sorry if no one gets the Blackadder reference. So, my plan is to use, oh no, I don't think she's wide enough. That one might be wide enough. Just. There we go. Just about wide enough. Penelope peeking out. Which we like. Now, 
I am going to do something a little bit different to how I normally plan because I have started noticing that I am something's happening when I write. Now you guys probably notice that quite often when I hold my fine liners I do it like that rather than like that and that has caused oh sorry Let's hold, oh yeah hold that still that has caused for the tips I don't know if you guys can in fact if I do a comparison I can show you so let's find a okay so that is a hardly used one the pink is hardly used trying to show you guys so if you look the tip of the pink one is nice and rounded and the blue one that I was just about to write with is all blunt and horrible so I am now having to rethink how I use my fine liners whether I use fine liners ever again at all because I've tried to adapt to my writing style and it doesn't often work so basically the 10 pack of grey pens I have only got, yikes, so I got a 10 pack of my favourite pen and out of the 10 I've got 6 left. So I breezed through 4 of them in less than a month because of my writing. <laughs> it's my favourite pen, so I can't keep doing that because they're not that cheap. So if I'm going to use it as my favourite pen, I need to use it, I need to use something else for drawing my lines, whether I draw my lines at all. So I'm thinking about using my flares. So I'm going to use a paper made flare. Because these are all a bit chewed up already and I'm not going to use my metal ruler because that is toxic. I will be so glad when I don't have to do this anymore and as of next week, I, said, I think I said this in my last video as well, which hopefully has gone up by now because it's just been long. I'll be honest, I'm even, I've even got itchy fingers because do you know what's really upset me actually? I'm gonna level with you guys. All the people who I draw inspiration from on this side of the pond, because you guys know that I follow um, Llamas Love Lettering um, and Cindy over there, she has a particular planning style which I sort of emulate. I don't copy it, but I there are certain attributes of it that I have brought over to my style of planning because I like the way it, it works but all the people who planned in a way that I I liked I have now got those planners so the passion planner I have now got a passion planner and the bullet journal and all of a sudden all those people aren't using them anymore so I feel a bit abandoned because all their videos which had all the inspiration now don't exist. There is no new, there is no newness. Uh, one, two, three, three, going into 24 hour clock. Hmm, interesting. One, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, and zero. At least I remember that bit. Yeah, they've all changed what, how they plan or they're not doing the thing that I had in common. So I'm not, this This is not me having a go at anybody because everyone is allowed to live their lives the way that they live them. I have, you know, it's all good. Live and let live. That's, you know, that's how I kind of see. But Robin over at My Life Planned Out, I used to love her planning style and because she was a teacher, I was like, oh, when I go back to teaching, I'm really glad that I found somebody that plans the way that I like to plan. And Robin has left teaching. 
I don't blame her. There are a lot of people that have left teaching because teaching isn't an easy thing. The way that teachers are treated is not, not the best in this country, certainly. And, oh, see, look at that crisp line. Oh, oh. that's what you get when you get a new mild liner. Lovely. I'm not gonna use metal rulers with you, my babies. No, sir. I'm also decided to keep them not in the boxes because you know I got my lovely, which I'm using, but I am gonna keep the cards so I know which set. So when I want to buy the gray one, because it's silly just buying a single one on its own, but I'm not gonna be using this to track my sleep because I don't need to. I can use any color to track my sleep now. Anyway, what was I saying? Went off on a tangent and forgot stuff. Yeah, I think I read a news article the other day that means that they get like a 2% wage increase. And everyone's like, you know, you get all the holiday, but you work all the hours. When I was doing primary, I would start at, I would get to work by quarter to eight. I would be at my desk working or at the photocopier photocopying. And then I would get home, have an hour, chill out and dinner time, and then hide away in this room and mark until 10.30. And I still wouldn't have it all done. And I don't know whether I was inefficient or or what, but it it was incessant. It was it was horrible. And primary, you're doing all the subjects, and that's hard. That is hard. I don't, I don't, you know, I mean, I, I wasn't trained for it either. I was trained for secondary and, you know, so I'm really glad that my new job, which although technically I am teaching primary children because I'm middle school, so it's year five, six, and then seven and eight, I'm only teaching English and humanities. So I only have three subjects, English, history, geography, three subjects. And I think I've even had my timetable and I've worked out that I've got four or five classes and that's it. Four or five classes, not one class 24 seven, five classes. So it's, it's going to be, this is my bag baby and I'm extremely happy with it. So I don't blame any teachers who want to leave the profession. I had days when I wanted to leave the profession, but I like the money, I like the hours, and to be quite frank, I was scared to get out and find out if there was anything else. I know I tried childminding, but let's face it, it's not good. And I don't do, I hate retail work. I hate retail work. Anything that means that I'm away from my family on Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve or even New Year's Day, because I did bar work as well. I don't want any part of that. I want to be able to have time off at Christmas with my family. Anyway, I really like this washi. I need to check with my mum where she got it because it's gorge. Okay, right. I have my nice list. Not a lot on there because work is now not a thing. Um, but we can get into it. So... Although I am still getting up at crazy o'clock to help out hubby and get him ready, I don't have to be morning routine as early. So as long as I am up and ready, although, hmm, I have a feeling that I might have to get up a bit earlier on Wednesday because I'm not quite sure what time I need to be doing that. So, morning routine is in. Evening routine is in. And there is a little bit of, whoa, that was just a very wonky line. There we go. As I can now, I'm also putting Keris's routine in here. That is Keris's bedtime routine. Those of you who know that she is just turned two, 
might think, oh, 7.30 to 8 o'clock, that is a bit late. Well, to be quite frank with you, if I put her to bed any earlier, she wakes up at four. And I love her, but if she's not gonna go, I mean, today she had her nap and she still needs a very long nap during the day, but she's not ready to nap until about two o'clock, even if she wakes up that early. So, mm, not, not a thing, not a thing. Right. Um, Monday, there is nothing going on, so I am going to, I need to colour, do you know what, like, where is my new pen, my new pens, I need a colour for Phoenix Fire, what am I going to use, I might use this colour, the yellow, or the red, I'll use the red, Mango, Mango, I don't know. Um, so I'm going to, on Monday, it's pretty close to Keris's colour. I'm going to try and get all my stuff that isn't done yet, edited and on YouTube. And I'm also going to get Oreo in on this action. Because these mini Oreos are perfect size. There we go. I've even made him a little bit orange. Whoops. I am also going to, in fact, I'm also going to do an Instagram post because my Instagram followers have been sadly neglected. There we go. So this is how I get my, this is how I'm going to try and do my top three from now on as well. Tuesday, I have got to go to work, which I'm not too thrilled about. Because the other thing as well is I'm now having a serious negative reaction to pur the colour purple. And I know I've just used some purpley pink washi, but it's really funny. My my old boss, who I didn't have a, had a I had an on-off relationship with, not that, I mean, on-off good relationship with, if that makes sense. Um, she loved the colour purple, so I used to not like purple because of that very weird so yeah i'm not sure if i should avoid anything that has a reference to the color purple or not um whoops oh sorry guys um although that is a book i need to read the color purple four o'clock i've got to be at work for you know i don't think i'm even getting paid for this hour that i'm being there so if i am getting paid for being there then that's different anyway Look how re resentful and angry I am right now. So, Wednesday, we've got, um, we're going to work with Daddy. He is at St Albans for the day. I don't know how much of the day, but we'll put it in till five. Because we'll assume. And then, so if I put... I don't know what to do. What should I do there? It's not family time because he's not there. Well, I suppose, I don't know. Okay, well, let's kind of say that it's family time. So, basically, because I'm not working now, we tag along with Chris if he's working on location and he's working at a different location and we're gonna do some shopping. Have some fun. Um, Thursday we have nothing, so I'm going to make sure that that is a housework kind of catch-up time. Let's see how close these are actually in colour. I'm going to do some housework here. Oh, that's good. They're quite far off from each other. That's good. Okay, so it's a nice fun colour. So Thursday is going to be housework. Shifty times. There we go. And now I've got my, where is, I get 
my mini Oreos. So it will be Oreos doing the bins there because that is going to need to be a thing. And then we'll do Oreo sweeping here. And I think I'm going to need to do laundry and laundry. They are my big jobs. I think I probably need a whole sheet of Oreo doing the laundry in mini. See, oh, do you know what? I've just found all of these. I still haven't put those away. So this is what I mean. I need to go through my stickers again. How fun. There we go. Just in case anyone was wondering. Um... Friday, because Chris is working on Sunday this week, Chris is off, so that is going to be one of those. I'm just going to cover all the, all the things. You can hear a funny suspicious noise and I suspect it's the cat. I'm going to put in the days as well because I've not done that yet. Yeah, that is definitely my cat licking herself or himself. I'm not quite sure which cat it is. Um, right, yeah, so Friday, we've got my mum and stepdad coming to collect the TV because we've got a new TV and they're going to have our old one. And we may do a day trip, I'm not quite sure. I haven't decided yet, so I'm going to leave the rest of that blank. Saturday we've got nothing on. It might well be recovering from the day trip or having the day trip. Um, so let's put in the family time anyway. One, two, five. Because sometimes family time is spent doing chores. And then Sunday, it's my auntie's wedding anniversary. Uh, oh, I know what I can use for that. There we go. A bit of... Oreos. There we go. So we may well pop over there. Don't know. Where is my pen? So as I said, I have still got my grey pen going on somewhere buried in all this stuff. Or did I hide it? What have I done with it? Where's my pen? Let's just grab one of those. That is the damage for the week. Hmm. Um, pretty straightforward time of it. And, uh, yeah, so I'm not going to bore you with doing the daily pages because I've just clocked that my computer, my phone has started filming upside down, which I'm now going to have to correct. There we go. It's now filming the right way up, but I don't know what that's done in terms of editing. I'm just going to double check the monthly pages again. Recycling week. Let's write that in. So I might also do some stuff with Keris then, so I don't know. 
maybe feed the ducks and go into town. So we'll do some fun errands. So I like mooch around the charity shops, um, feed the ducks, grab some lunch, and then come back. It's all nice. Um, so yeah, that's that's all for that. Um, I'm not gonna lie, my uh, my even my daily pages took a bit of a hit. Haven't really done haven't done anything since Wednesday and it's now Saturday so um, I will go back in and fill all that in and I have got quite a few pages to go in this journal but I'm not gonna lie I'm really itching to get into my new one my new everyday carry is going to be this little number it is a B6 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 because I have a handbag and my A5 does not fit in there. So this is a nice little size. And I've seen this on on Amazon, Scribbles That Matter. So I've gone back to Scribbles. And I've seen it and I was like, oh, I really like that. But the cover looks like suede. So I just thought, oh, is it suede? And it's not suede. It's kind of like this rough textured leather. So... It is like that, well not leather, like the vegan leather that Scribbles at Matter use. And I used my vinyl that I got in my last um, Pandas in Crime. I've got my, so I put in the um, sticker from the Sunshine Sticker Company um, collection, bullet bundle that I got. I've used my traditional front cover with my personal information on. That is my emergency numbers and the important numbers, so like the doctors and everything else, which I've covered up for obvious reasons, I hope. Morning routine, nighttime routine. I took the graphics off because for some reason it was green. And I actually, sorry, I was going to say this. I actually used sticker paper, so it was so much easier. And actually it feels a bit thinner, which is not a bad thing. Um, my preferred beauty products, taken a few out because certain things aren't happening anymore um this one was a bit i'm gonna probably go over that with my craft knife because i put it down in the wrong place and now it's all there um packing this as you can see i went a bit corner crazy on all of these as well um making everything smaller though for this has been a bit of a challenge because as you can see even one of my meds is kind of on to two lines which i don't appreciate um keris is packing list and then everything else is kind of oh yeah my measurements are in the back because i'm going to take this into school probably it might end up on my desk now um i have these these ones don't have the the grid markers to do the half page and the um like the half boxes and all of that so what i'm going to do is every time i do a line do a line i'm going to try and or every time i do a page i'm going to try and do the halfway point in each thing so because there are where is it there are halfway points, so in the grid anyway. So yeah, I've tried to do that and there's 23 boxes across, 32 boxes down, so it will fit in a month as well, which is good. So I've just got to put in all my random bits and pieces. I'm probably going to uh, try and do my Pain tracker on a sticker and stick that in but I don't know whether that will work and that's about it but this is not going to be a stickering journal this is just going to be maybe a bit of washi but it's just going to be writing might put the odd picture in there because somebody may have got me a sprocket for my birthday maybe <laughs> so I'm very excited about that as well and I made a pouch. Not the best, not my best work, but it functions and it is going to be my pencil case for work, I think. I do like my sewing machine. 
I keep telling myself that it is the world's noisiest sewing machine but it does the job um I think that's all I have to tell you so you guys probably won't see this unless I happen to whip it out halfway through to write something down to remember but this is just going to be for writing all the bits and pieces it's not for planning my week and my day it's just for my tasks and all the other essential information that I need as you guys know the passion planner is now my thing and you should have already seen me plan August and next week you will see me plan my first week in here which I'm a bit nervous about because all of the stickers that I've got are either too narrow or too wide or something but hey we'll make it work we'll make it work it's all good so I'm happy with that that is my daily situation as you guys know I've also got my um, my bullet journal for there's my pen my bullet journal for actually teaching day and my oh I didn't show you my teacher plan on sorry very excited <laughs> so I stuck my stitch vinyl on there that I got ages ago because I loved it and then that was the one that Ashley did and I'll be honest that was incredibly fiddly to put down yes okay I'll be done in a minute oh okay okay hmm. okay we'll investigate that in a minute so yeah i've punched everything and i'll be honest i may end up getting some metal discs because these are a bit well i've already broken one so that's my um thing and as you can also see i rounded all the corners with my special corner cutty thing and then i punched all the pages ready for the new term i've also got some lined paper in there as well um for various other things and the thing i like about this is i can move stuff around so it can literally be a log of my teaching year so i'm very excited about that anyway i must go and have my dinner <laughs>